my direction. How do you, how do you with like how do you hold yourself when it comes to like um, football? When it comes to media, like what's one thing that you don't? What the hell am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say yeah, is I, I think I, I think I understand what you're trying to say. You understand what I'm. Do you understand what you're trying to say? Yes. I understand understanding you, but I'll answer the question without you asking it because that I, is correct. And you're also a mind reader. <laughs> That is incredible. What keeps you grounded? Exactly. That's what I meant to say. Um, I guess knowing where I come from, Southwest. Um, <laughs> um, he said Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, know, you know, I um, I, I grew up not far from here. You know, I started off in Eds, then I moved to Minto. So, I guess um, re realizing what I where where I've come from. It was, you know, well, my younger years, I, um, I sort of took it for granted. You know, I just, I was a kid from Minto that, you know, got let out and um, got to do what I wanted and, you know, sort of took, a, took, that, took that to my advantage. But I guess now when I'm at the top um, of, of, of my abilities and, and I guess it's trying to fulfill my potential, um, I enjoy coming back down here and, and, you know, humbling myself and, I guess when you when I come down here and see kids, you know, doing what I was doing when I was a kid, and you know, living with that fear of not, you know, wanting to to, to better themselves and to get out of Countdown and have a better life, that's something that, um, you know, humbles me and and uh, you know, gives me motivation to try and help. You know, there's, there's a, lot, a lot of kids that uh, that were with me and had as much potential as I had, but didn't make it, you know, because of a, a lot of distractions, a lot of things that they feared, but they they didn't go through it. So. That's, um, that's probably one of the main things that, that really brings me back down to earth and, and really um, yeah, helps me just as much as I can help other people. Yeah, that's mad. Now, with the... You don't say that here? No? That's fantastic. Um, now, if there was one thing in the, like within a minute or so, what, what's one thing that you would say to the people growing up in South West End? Because a lot of people think when you're from the southwest, there's there's like a, a stigma attached with it. Oh, you know, they're like people who will never get a job, or people. Oh, you're from southwest, you're not good enough to do this and that. Like for yourself, I, un I like I know you grew up in the area, and now you've learned so much from where you've come from, and then you've understood like like you just said, you know, um, you don't forget where you come from. It's all about where you started and that. Like, what is it that you'd want to share with these guys here who may have dreams to be a footy player or maybe a lawyer, a doctor and, you know, a barrister or whatever it is, you know? Like, what's one thing that you'd say to them, like, to everyone here tonight about, like, God and what you do for a living? Um, yeah, it's a good question. I guess um, with me it was, you know, it, it always is that stereotype of, you know, you're from Southwest, you know, he's a kid that's never going to listen, he's a kid that... that um, yeah, you know, does this, does that. He's, you know, he's a bad kid, and that's some of the things I that was put on me. You know, coming through, and I guess the the rejection I felt was um, was my motivation. You know, I did I was looked down upon, especially when I was younger, and I was sort of um, not so much of an outcast, but you know, a kid that they thought was just not going to make it. And I guess that was my motivation to every time I got kicked down or pushed down, you know, I'd, I'd come back up and. I guess that's where I get my confidence from. You know, I was always real self-centered, and and doesn't matter wh what happened to me, you know, I'd always bounce back from it. And um, you know, it's probably, I think, I guess that's why I enjoy where I am at the moment because of how hard I worked. You know, and seeing a lot of my friends sort of when they went down that wrong path, and they see me now, you can just see the joy they get from me doing what I'm doing. And that's something. If I if I was to say or, or to preach something to the to you kids tonight, it's that. You, you know, living in the southwest, it is harder to, to, to have a better life, to, harder to, to keep motivated and keep going forward. But when you get, when you feel the success, it's all worth it. You know, it's all worth the pain of being rejected. It's all worth the pain of, of you know, falling back to, you know, stepping back to step up. Um, you know, it, it does make it harder, but I guess the more, the more hardship you go through, the more you enjoy the good times. So, um, yeah, I guess the one thing is not never to give up, always keep motivated, always keep positive. And if there's one thing that, that I feel that that's a major thing over my life, it's confidence, you know. You've got to always be confident in any situation because you will get rejected, you will get denied, but that, that confidence is, is, like a, is, like, is like the spirit, comes from the spirit in it, and it, you know, it flows with everything. So if you keep confident every time you get kicked down, it, 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 go, it goes a long way. You know, you, you might be hurting on the inside, but you always got to put a brave face on. And, um, 
with me, the more I get kicked down, the more I lean into God. And then when I'm at the top, you know, I lean into God more to bring me back down to, to humble myself. So, yeah. That's it. That's awesome. Now, I've got, before you leave, I've got real quick questions in the last 30 seconds, okay? And you've just got to answer whatever comes to the top of your head. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready for this? Are you sure you're ready? <clears throat> okay, here we go. Top 10 questions. Yep. You ready? Yep. Uh, go. Favorite color? Awesome. Um, caramel. Caramel. Oh, is, that, is that a color, caramel? Yeah, <laughs> brown. <laughs> caramel. Did you say carrot? What's doing? I thought, I thought you Did said. Did you say carrot? I thought you said. Favorite color, favorite carrot. Flavor. Southwest. Okay, yep. I thought you said favorite flavor. All right, favorite color? Blue. Favorite. Uh, favorite food? Uh, fish. Fish, okay. <laughs> fish, okay. Favorite sport? Rugby league. Okay. Favorite player? Uh, favorite Andrew Johns. Um, who's going to win the World Cup this year? Uh, New Zealand, New Zealand. New Zealand. All right, this week coming up, it's Parramatta against the good old Southwest Balmain Tigers. Who's going to win this week? Um, Parramatta will. Shh. He said Parramatta's going to win. <laughs> Is Parramatta going to win? They will win. They will win. Are the Tigers going to win? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to give it up one more time for our good friend, Jared Hay. I know, I know. We didn't practice that. We didn't, we really didn't. All right, why don't you give it up to... Why don't you give it up for him one more time? <laughs>